field, number one is Living Image, owned by the Living Image Stables, trained by Ron Gerfine, Mike Lachance. Number two is Victory Cruise. He's owned by Royal Wire Products, trained and driven by Don Swick. Number three, Dead Reckoning, owned by Andy Grant and the LST Stables, trained and driven by Per Henriksen. Number four, Boom, all by Katz, Goldband, and Liebfeld, trained by Danny Collins with Dave Hawk. Number five, Hawaiian Eclipse, all by Carl Ellick Carlson, trained and driven by Jan Janssen. Number six, Homer Iliad, all by MJ Rini Bros, Doyle Bros, and Hugh Beatty. Hugh Beatty Jr. trains and drives. Number seven is King Valley, owned by Christina Tactor and Ken Ross, trained and driven by Jimmy Tactor. Number eight is Mighty Waukegan, owned by the Mighty Fast Stable and R.B. Miller, trained by Rich Gillick with Dave Miller. And number nine is Speedy Link. He's owned by Jim Wheeler, trained by Per Erickson, and Jim Matinas is in the sulky. So that's the field for the eighth race. There are no changes. First half of the late double, exacta and trifecta, seven minutes until post time. Stable, they're at the post, and here they come. Off stride, number five, Hawaiian Eclipse, and they're off and trotting. And first away is Speedy Link from the outside. From the inside, Living Image trots out well. And Tactor and King Valley gunning out from between horses. So it's King Valley who now trots on to take the early lead. Living Image is on the inside. Speedy Link quickly moving around him. And Lachance has a big hold of the headstrong Living Image racing in third. Dead Reckoning is gapped about three lengths further back fourth. Boom to his outside is fifth. Victory Cruz sixth on the inside. Homer Iliad is trotting in seventh position opening quarter in 28 and two speedy link has gone off stride speedy link may have hit a wheel he went on a wild break there in the back stretch also off stride is homer iliad and also off stride is victory cruise from the back of the pack beginning to move up after the early break is hawaiian eclipse and he's followed by mighty waukegan so they head down the back stretch and the headstrong living image is now on the lead as lachance tipped him to the outside and he clears a length in front King Valley will yield for the pocket in second. Dead Reckoning still trying to reel in the top pair from third at the half and 58 seconds flat. Boom is trotting along smoothly fourth on the inside. Hawaiian Eclipse has made up ground. He's now racing in fifth. Mighty Waukegan up on the outside in sixth position and he flushes Boom. So Mighty Waukegan now has some cover to follow as they come around the far turn heading toward the three-quarter marker and it is Living Image still two lengths in front. King Valley is second but here comes Boom on the outside and Boom is moving closer just off the leader's wheel as they hit three quarters in 129 and two. They come to the top of the stretch and Boom is trotting up on the outside. Living Image is trying to fight back to him on the inside from second. Boom with a short lead. Living Image is not through yet. He's hanging in there in second position. King Valley is racing in third. Dead Reckoning getting rough gated in fourth but it is Boom as they come to the finish with a short lead. Living Image right Right there on the inside boom leads it and boom has won it living image was a solid second and king valley third in 159 flat stable has been established for over 70 years they've campaigned some of the greatest stars in the sport including horses like Florican, like Stars Pride, like Mattistar, like Hamiltonian winners Titan Hanover and Flirth, and most recently Yonkers Trot winner Goldfish, who gave Jackie and Gracia the honor of being the only woman ever to win a Triple Crown race. The Arden Homestead Stable was founded by the Gary family and E. Roland Harriman, and now run by Ebby and Peter Gary. So the Arden Homestead Stable one of the oldest and most established and most successful stables in the long and storied history of harness racing. We welcome the Garys to Lexington as always and thank them for their support here at the Red Mile. 